motor systems offer several prefabricated shower substrates, including trays, curbs, and benches. They provide a lightweight, easy-to-install alternative to mortar and other building materials. These prefabricated substrates can easily be cut to size or extended to fit almost any shower application. Let's take a closer look at how to do it. Our shower trays are available in a variety of sizes, but can easily be modified to fit your shower configuration. The shower tray is thin enough that it can be cut to size using a utility knife. Don't attempt to cut through the tray all at once. Take your time and make multiple passes. The prefabricated trays are sloped, so it's important to remember when cutting that it is ideal to cut it by equal or nearly equal amounts on all sides. By keeping the height even on all sides, it'll be easier to make sure you have a consistent elevation for the first course of wall tile. When the shower area is larger than the tray, the shower base can be extended with dry pack mortar. Now that we've shown you how to address the tray, let's take a look at the curb. Take the time to draw a square line on the curb. This can help guide you to a straight and clean cut. We are using a handsaw to cut the curb to length. A utility knife could also be used. Make sure the blade is sharp. This will allow for a smoother cut. You can also cut the curb to height. We used a utility knife to start and finished off with a handsaw to get through the thicker internal foam supports. You can also use a table saw for a quick, clean cut. Another option is to cut the width of the curb. Modifying the shower curb to width can be done by cutting along the length twice and removing a section of the curb from the center. A utility knife and handsaw can be used for this, or a table saw, as shown here. Remove the center section. Reconnect the remaining pieces with any of our Schluter Thin Set Mortars, Unmodified Thin Set Mortar, or Schluter Curdy Fix, as shown here. Once the curb is installed, the new seam will need to be sealed with Curdy Band. Curbs can also easily be extended to accommodate different shower designs by installing them adjacent to one another using thin-set mortar. Make sure the seams where the curbs meet are waterproofed with Curdy Band waterproofing strips. Lastly, the shower benches can also be cut to size using a utility knife or table saw similar to the curbs. Again, make sure to draw a square line to guide the cut. Use a sharp blade and take your time. Shower benches can also be customized by installing one or more benches adjacent to one another. Anytime you are assembling multiple pieces of a bench or curb, it can be helpful to allow the curdy fix or thin set mortar to firm up before completing the installation and waterproofing. Remember, any seams must be treated with curdy band. These tips will all help you to get the best results. Preparing your shower substrates is quick and simple when using Schluter trays, curbs, and benches. With just a few basic tools, you can make your shower anything you can imagine. To learn how to install these products, check out our Schluter shower system installation videos. If you still have questions, please contact our customer support specialists. For more information on Schluter products, visit schluter.com or check our YouTube channel to view our videos.